Hey there, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters, and here comes another What's Sold on eBay video for you. Um, this is going to be the second half of March, so March 16th through the 31st. Um, let me just pull up here real quick. Okay, so here's my little spreadsheet that I make. Um, this is 16 of my sales from this time period. Um, mostly eBay, and I had one Bonanza sale that I'm going to also show you. But just quickly go through this. These items cost me $56 plus some sales tax. They sold for $869. I collected $206 shipping. Shipping actually cost me, the labels actually cost me $184.36. So after eBay fees and PayPal fees, I'm really close there um, like I like to be. Um, my eBay fees were $96.93, my Bonanza fees were $8.18, my PayPal fees were $36, which leaves my profit after all fees and costs at $675.47 for these 16 items. Alright, so let's get started. Um, this first item is a pair of antique gold-filled AO prescription spectacles or eyeglasses. These I paid two dollars for. They sold for $47.95. There was where you can see the AO and that they were gold filled. 12 karat gold filled. Alright this is a pair of Anne Klein prescription sunglasses. So these were prescription lenses that would need to be replaced by the person who purchased these glasses. Um, I did have an unclined case to go with them, so my cost here was four dollars and twenty-five cents. Um, they sold for twenty-two ninety-five, which left my profit at fifteen dollars and forty-four cents. And this is a pair of Silhouette eyeglasses. So I paid three dollars for these, including the eyeglass case, and they sold for fifty-four dollars and ninety-five cents which left my profit after all fees and costs at $44.97. And here's another pair of prescription eyeglasses. These are Gucci. I paid $2.67 for these, including the case. Um, they sold for $60, and my overall profit was $49.73. All right, so this is a Tommy Tippy um, baby monitor system that I found at a thrift store for $10. It sold for $40 plus shipping, so my overall profit was $23.47. Um, the cords were still even like wrapped up, you know, the way they come when they're brand new. So it was pretty much new, but you could tell that the box had been torn open and stuff. So it was probably given as a gift and then just never used. This is a OEM truck radio. It's not a CD player or a tape player or anything. It was just an AM FM radio from um, like a GMC or a Chevy truck. And I paid a dollar for this at the Goodwill. And it sold for $40. So my overall profit after fees and costs was $32.12. And this is a piece. I bought a huge lot of this depression glass in this, um, it's called Beverly pattern. And I, I have a few left. I've, I've been selling them for over a year, you know, piece by piece. And, um, I've only got a couple left. Actually, I sold another one today. Um, but there were several, several pieces and, um, just been gradually getting rid of them. So I only paid a few dollars per piece in this lot. And this was like a candy dish. Um, I lowered the prices way down just trying to get rid of this stuff. And so I have been selling them a little more lately than I had been for a while. Um, but this one was a candy dish. It sold for $20. So after fees and costs, my profit was $15.04. And this is a vintage metal gold cottage cheese jar. And I found this in a storage unit. And 
just decided to look it up for whatever reason. And they were listed for a lot of money, and they had actually sold for 20 or $30 in the past. So I went ahead and listed mine. Um, but it was listed for a long, long time before it finally sold. But it did sell for $15, so my profit was $11.50. This is a outdoor light set. Um, it's not solar, it was electric, so it did have like power cords and everything. And everything was in there and it was brand new. The box was kind of beat up, but the kit with all the 20 lights and everything was brand new in there. Had all the instructions and everything was there. Um, and this, I paid $9 for this box. And it sold for $114.95. So $115 plus shipping, and my profit after all fees and costs was $89.32. Alright, so this is a pair of Dolce & Gabbana prescription eyeglasses. They were brand new, even had the little sticker tag on them and everything. Um, I paid $1.50 for these, and they sold for $145. So my overall profit was $125.87. And I even had a case to go with them in my eyeglass case stash. This is a pair of Ferroflex eyeglasses. I've sold a lot of Ferroflex eyeglasses. They sell really well. This pair sold for $35 and I paid $2.50 for them. So my profit was $27.89. And here is another pair of Fairflex eyeglasses. These are sunglasses, prescription sunglasses. I paid $2.50 for these as well, and they sold for $35.95. So my profit was $29.52 on these. And here is a Bible. This was a brand new Bible, still in the shrink wrap. It was a Radio Network reference Bible. Oh, I spelled reference wrong. <laughs> Just now noticed that. Anyways, um, it was a reference Bible, brand new. It was funny because this was in the case at the thrift store, and it was marked $6. And there was actually two of them. They were marked $6 each. And I took a chance. It was like a Thursday when I first saw them and thought, well, they'll be on sale on Saturday, so I'll come back and get them for half price, right? But when I went back, one of them was gone. So I should have just bit the bullet and bought them both for $6 after I saw what they were actually worth because I hadn't really looked them up. And so anyways, I paid $3 for it. It sold for $100 and my profit was $81.86. And then this is a humidifier. It's an ultrasonic humidifier. Um, it worked really nice. We plugged it in and tried it. I paid $11 for this. And it sold for $54.95. So my overall profit after fees and costs was $25.01. And I think the reason why it was low was because shipping cost me a little bit more than I had estimated it would cost. I had a little bit of a loss there. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's right here at the bottom. So I paid $11 for it. Yeah. They paid $25.44 for shipping, and shipping actually cost me $31.19. So, after shipping supplies and things, I did lose a little bit of money on shipping, but not terrible. I mean, I still made a profit and got my money back, so not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. This is just an empty eyeglass case. I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $15, so my overall profit was $12.06. And then last but certainly not least is another Bible. And I showed this in one of my um, haul videos. It was an Expositor's Study Bible lazy, Ladies Edition. And I paid $2.50 for this at the thrift store. It sold for $62.95 on Bonanza. This is Bonanza. So my profit after all fees and costs was $44.33. So this is Bonanza. Um, if you're not familiar with Bonanza, check out my video about Bonanza. Um, basically what, what they do is they take your already active listings from Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, 
and they bring them in and it's basically effortless and every once in a while I make a sale and so it's kind of cool. Check out my video if you're interested in, in seeing more about Bonanza. So that's all the sales I have to show you in this episode and I will get some more videos posted soon. I'm still trying to get caught up. I got really behind on my what sold video so um, we're at the end of May right now and I'm just finishing up the end of March so I'm gonna try to get April and May done here pretty quick you know within a few days and, and try to get caught up on that so I can start doing some other videos as well. So some of the ways you can help support us if you're interested are there should be an Amazon link an Amazon affiliate link in the description of most of my videos and if you click on that link and then shop on Amazon anything you purchase a percentage will go to us for referring you to Amazon it doesn't cost you anything extra and it does help us out a little bit so if you could think about that um, consider that we would appreciate it and then another way you can support us is by going to our GoFundMe page we do have a GoFundMe page and you can find that um, here at the top of our YouTube channel so you can go here and support us that way and if you're not familiar if you're a new subscriber you're not familiar with what is going on here this is my sweet husband Aaron and he passed away a few months ago of a just a very sudden heart failure issue and um, really caught us by surprise but anyways people have really reached out and helped us a lot and we really appreciate that so that's one way you can help us that's still active the only reason why I'm mentioning this now is because I've had a few people message me and ask me how they can help support us and so um, that's why I'm mentioning this GoFundMe page now because yeah it does help definitely does help um, follow us on Facebook Instagram Pinterest of course like our videos and subscribe to our channel on YouTube would be also helpful if you haven't done that already but thanks again for watching you guys are really the best and I will get another one of these posted here within a few days so stay tuned for that and take care